in terms of raising funding? Uh, first of all, they should meet as many investors as they can, uh, and in parallel, by the way. Not deal with one of them, wait for his answer, then go to the next one and the next one, because uh, it's like creating a market for your startup. You should meet as many investors as you can at the, at the same time. At hopefully, at the end of the day, you will have some options to choose from or some investors that will be interested to invest. In the past, uh, investors uh, didn't uh, syndicate too much. If you was a, were an investor, either an angel or a VC, and you found something good, you would put your hand, take ex exclusivity, and invest your own money, and that's all. Today, most, I would say, of the, of the VCs and quite a lot of the angels are happy to syndicate or are looking to syndicate for few reasons. First of all, to have uh, more uh, money, to have deeper pockets in case of uh, emergency, let's say, if you they, you will need to support uh, uh, the ventures with more money that you assumed at the beginning, so you'll have few pockets and few investors, mm -hmm. and some might say, "I'm out of it," so you ha you want to have some more investors, and second, you want to use the connections and network of each one of them uh, to help develop your business. So if you can syndicate, it's a great tool. Uh, if you have just several investors and you need to choose, then I would do, I would say, and I might not be objective, but I really think so, the valuation is not the important thing. Meaning if one investor offers a better valuation, it's not a reason to do the deal with him and not with the other. The reason is, first of all, the chemistry, I would say. At the end of the day, you're going to work, you as an entrepreneur going to work with the investors and, the, and vice versa. And you want to deal with people that you have good chemistry, both if, if things are going, doing, going good or going bad. And you will have to spend a lot of time with him, and you have many hours with him, thinking, debating, so you want to do it with someone that you have chemistry. That's the first thing. The second one is an uh, added value investor, of course, if he can connect you, if he has network, if he knows players, relevant players, if he can bring along help, professionals, whatever, that's for sure a very important thing. I can say even that, you know, I've been investing for the last 13 years or so, so I have, uh, and 13 years in this specific area of early stage startups, it's like experience of 30 years in the traditional industry. Okay. You know, we've been up, down, bubbles, whatever. So uh, now another important issue is approaching the relevant uh, investor with the relevant offering. Meaning, if you will go to a VC at a very early, early stage, you wouldn't be uh, able to raise money. If you go to a VC, to a big VC, and you want to raise $200,000, it's not relevant. They wouldn't invest. On the other end, if you go to an angel, to a traditional angel, let's say, and you ask him to invest $1 million, he wouldn't invest at an early stage. So you should approach with the right offering to the right uh, uh, investor and tailor, let's say, the right offering and also the right presentation. If it's a, an investor that is highly interested in the technological side of the business, so you should talk about it in the presentation. But if it's an, uh, a traditional investor like a diamond dealer or a real estate uh, guy or a financial one, he's not interested in now seeing the exact arch, 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 architect of the, of the product. He's more interested in the business aspects, on the team, on the experience and so. So you need to tailor and, and present the right presentation for the right investor and uh, convince him. Now, for me as an investor, the most important thing while examining a venture, there are three th things or categories. First is the, 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 the entrepreneur himself or the team of the entrepreneurs. Second is the, is the uh, product or the business itself the venture, and third is the deal. Okay. Now, from these three, the most important by far are the entrepreneurs. Uh, for me, if I try to score it, it's 50% of the scores are the entrepreneurs, are their skill, their experience, their character, and so and so. Uh, their honesty, by the way, it's very important because at the end of the day, you need to live from their mouth because you're not meeting their bank, you're not meeting the clients, you're not meeting the team, you're not recruiting, so you need to to hope that they are uh, very transparent and, and give you the right uh, information. Bad information. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't hide any information from my, my investor. As an entrepreneur, I would give you maybe the opposite. Give them all the information they need so they won't be able to say 
one month ago why didn't you update me that this and that happened so give them of course the bad news and the good news and uh, try to use them to uh, help you because assuming that they are more experienced than you they made money already probably so they know a thing or two about investment investment so I think they can guide you by the way if you look historically one decade ago let's say entrepreneurs were very concerned from the veto rise of the investors from their uh, 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 independence being maybe uh, affected and they would say I don't want you to be to interrupt I don't want to be involved I just in general need your money and now I know what to do today it's the opposite entrepreneurs come to you and they say okay the money is important but I have plenty of uh, potential investors and you know currently we have many incubators and angels and accelerators and VCs. It's booming and plenty of money that is coming from abroad. Russian investors, American investors, Asian investors, and so and so. Everyone but the Israeli government. Yeah. No, Israeli government is supporting via the incubators. Uh, you can say everybody but the Israeli uh, institutional investors. Yeah, they don't invest and don't, don't participate. Uh, so it's, there's plenty of money. And they say, okay, money is important, but how can you help me? How much time you can devote? Would you ca can we meet once a week? How many connections do you have? Who do you know? You know Facebook, you know Google. Uh, can you g help me to get good developers or to get me a good uh, uh, business development guy? So they are looking much more for your help. They appreciate much more the help and they uh, uh, know to... to uh, um, to appreciate it so this is a very important criteria for me as an if I was an entrepreneur and going approaching an investor um, I would say these are the, the, the tips